what is going on guys we are back with a brand new tip video 100 percent of pro players use this movement and these techniques to make you a better player and dominate the game but we're not only talking about pro players here this benefits casual players warzone players so i want you guys to pay attention i got a lot of very good techniques a lot of secrets in the settings and you want to definitely watch this whole video let's go all right guys without further ado let's get right into the video so we're going to be talking about some very important settings that you must have in order to have this very fluid and elite movement so airborne our automatic airborne mantle show more make sure grounded mantle is off automatic grounded mantle is off uh i have them all off because i don't want to risk it but basically when you try to slide cancel if you have these on it will mess up your slide cancel you're going to start jumping mid slide cancel people are wondering why is my movement so clunky why is my slide cancel so off you probably have this on you want this off now for automatic sprint we're going to want an automatic tactical sprint on uh this makes the slide canceling movement fluid it makes your movement more fluid and faster and it's freaking elite and for the last thing slide behavior you want it on tap this is going to make slide canceling super effective so slide canceling how do you do slide canceling well it's very simple you want to slide slide jump so and whatever your jump button is and whatever you slide with it's slide slide jump and to explain it very quickly uh you're basically sliding you're sliding again to stop your slide which that's where tab comes in and then you're pressing jump to stand up from crouch position so slide slide jump and you just want to kind of if you struggle with this movement you kind of just want to maneuver around the map don't make it too complicated uh just slide slide jump slide slide oh mess up there make sure slide slide jump make sure when you kind of do it too try to have your tactical sprint on auto like your full automatic tactical sprint you can see my gun pulling up and that's kind of a indica indicator that you're automatic uh tactical sprinting so you want slice side jump slice side jump slice side jump you could do it a regular sprint but it's it's a little bit slower it doesn't have the same momentum to it and basically once you get that down now the next thing you do want to do you want to aim slice side jump aim slice side jump aim and you kind of want to slide cancel around corners kind of getting the feel for it kind of see how to use this movement to your advantage and then once you get that down the next step is to shoot obviously so this is a technique you can use to camera people to break cameras to so go around a corner very quickly kill this guy kill this guy i'm sorry buddy oh you too oh my bad and basically this is a very very important and broken technique that was implemented in call of duty a couple years ago and a lot of you guys know that every single pro player uses this warzone pro uh even casual players are starting to really get a hang of this and use this technique more because this is number one movement speed you always want to have in your game so slide slide jump aim in and then you obviously just want to get ready to shoot so this technique is used to break cameras and kind of pretty much how you want to be using it if you're asking me for the next thing is you want to maneuver around the map with slide canceling that's what a lot of people like to do because with this movement you're never really getting caught off guard you're kind of sliding around and if someone tries to shoot you or someone appears in your screen you're kind of breaking a camera in their screen and you're able to kill them so this is a very good technique to maneuver around and also hit people with the camera and kind of break their camera and get the first shot on them and catch them off guard and a little extra tip before we go on to the next thing is you can also use the slide canceling or sliding to camera doors so for example when you know a lot of you guys might just run through his door and kind of challenge out maybe and just kind of run through it um but something pro players used to, uh tend to do and it's a very good technique is instead of that i'm gonna slide before i get to the door i'm gonna slide out and i'm gonna go on this head glitch and camera the head glitch so like this and that right there can be the whole difference between getting me getting this kill or me just kind of fighting him straight up so very quickly one more time you want to slide out and then slide cancel it slide slide jump and then obviously shoot him so for tip number two we're going to be talking about the infamous jump shotting but also the bunny hop but let's get first the basic down and talk a little bit like about it why it's so good so jump shotting is basically jumping while you're aiming in or shooting um you can obviously jump shot up close um but the reason i'm talking about this technique is more so like using it to your advantage with movement not only just like a regular jump shot but jumping jumping around corners um and breaking cameras this is another way to break cameras and kind of catch someone off guard um especially if you hit the automatic tax sprint you get that very big momentum like this even hit a strafe jump maybe out um this thing is very very good uh so you basically a lot of time uh some some people some mistakes people do is they like jump shot around like this like this is good for information but you should not engage like this if you're actually trying to get into a gunfight and you want this kill you want to jump but aim in be aimed in so you're ready for the fight if he is there you do not have to aim in midair and now you just shoot very simple very good technique to use and this is a technique all pro players uh, like i said use 
uh, have been using for years and sometimes people tend to forget how good jump shotting is and they also don't do the aim in technique they sometimes they just jump around corners like this and then aim in too late so make sure when you jump around these corners you're aiming in and that's how you do it baby and to add on top of that the good old bunny hop i'm so glad it's back it is one of the best movements ever in call of duty it is so fun to do and it's so broken if done correctly so very quickly i'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial a little tip uh before we get straight into it a good way to practice the bunny hop is basically you can maneuver around the map just run around the map and just try to bunny hop so bunny hopping is basically when you jump you want to jump again as soon as you land on the ground and you also want to get momentum when you do it therefore you kind of get launched uh, across but if you kind of get this dead jump and you're not jumping after you land then you're not doing it right so you can see that's a little bunny hop right there um so basically this is a good way to practice it you don't have to have your gun out you really don't have to be aimed in just kind of like maneuver around the map and uh, try to find a flat surface because it's easier to do it on a flat surface like over here. And if as long as you're even if it's not a good jump, as long as you're jumping after you land, then that, that means you're getting it down. It's a lot about it's a lot about the timing. The timing is huge when it comes to that. So once you kind of get the bunny hop down, um, the next thing you want to do is obviously get ready to use it. So you want to kind of be aimed in like that. Um, it's a very good way to break a camera. You're already aimed in again. It's one of those things where you're aimed in. You're ready to fire. And you're flying across someone's screen very quickly so this is like the basic jump shot which is pretty good but if you can hit someone with a nasty like nasty bunny hop it's almost impossible to react to i've tested it against people before i've done it against people and if you do it correctly like they are dead so many of the times this is not the best place to do it because it's a small area um th this is like it's the level is not the same but if you do it like big wide open areas and you really hit a nasty bunny hop um it's they're pretty much dead almost every time look at that look at that nice little hop man that, i love this movement look at that little hop so it depends where you do it it's easier to do in some places than it is others like i said it's, it's easier on a flat surface it's easier in a wider area the where you can work more of the, the situation but look at that nice little bunny hops right there i was trying to get some bunny hops for you guys to kind of show it a little better but yeah that movement is very broken if you can uh, master it so those are the two biggest movements when it comes to uh, vanguard but there's also obviously other little things you can do so for another little quick uh movement tip that pros do is like a lot of times they slide down stairs um this movement is really good for one um it's very fast you can use the momentum to like challenge like this um you can see like kind of this weird the weird slide my guy does and kind of like just freaking going crazy and you can just slide them downstairs. It can be a lot faster in certain situations because you're just kind of sliding through them. Um, the bigger the stairs, the better. Obviously, these are a little bit smaller, um, but you can slide down some very big stairs. Um, and this this movement is good just to kind of maneuver around the map. Sometimes you can use it to challenge somebody. Um, if you think someone's here, like kind of sliding down, hitting that very fast movement. You see it done in, in MW in the past in Warzone. Um, it's a very good movement to do. Like I can, instead of me doing this, you know, it's kind of like I hit this like weird slide down the stairs and challenge them. And it just helps me kind of camera and hit this more momentum movement. Another thing that can help you in this game and can be used in certain spots. This strafe jumping is good to master guys to use it to your advantage. One for gunfights and one for getting to spots. So for gunfights, I talked about a little bit about it in jump shotting. Um, if I kind of just jump like this, this is such a slow jump shot. It's not really that crazy. The camera isn't as breaking. Now, if I kind of go for a strafe jump and I fly out like that, and now that's a lot harder to challenge. So strafe jumping is kind of very simple. I mean, you want to hit the automatic tax sprint. You want to get that full movement boost. You kind of want to turn to the side and then jump to the direction you're going to go to. So you kind of want to hit that full on strafe like movement speed jump right there. And this movement is going to launch you a lot farther. It's going to allow you to um, hit some crazier jump shots some crazier cameras. Um, instead of kind of hitting this like a burger like casual jump shot you know you're kind of hitting this crazy jump shot where it's hard for an enemy to react to and this i'm telling you like strafe jump shotting can be so good or even strafe bunny hopping like we talked about earlier it's actually crazy like how like what places you can get to strafe jumping and i have another perfect example for you guys really quickly um right here so like right here i was, I was kind of testing this out i can actually get to here with like a little strafe jump um this is a spot you technically can't get in the game so like look i can't mantle this um i can't get on here um but if you hit a nice little strafe jump right here it actually allows you to get on this so it just shows you like how how crazy strafe jumping is not only for gunfights but just kind of maneuvering around the map and get into certain spots that you will learn as the game goes on
And for the last tip that something Vanguard has that not a lot of games do, and it's actually really good to note, um, you can actually jump on things without having to mantle them. Now, hear me out. I know it's very weird. In pure previous CODs, if you do not reach the height requirements, usually you have to mantle it, okay? You have to mantle it. You have to actually get on it. But for some reason in this game, they actually, I don't know if they want to make it more realistic or they want the movement to be more fluid, um, but you can actually jump. So uh, I'm going to show you guys some spots on the map, explain it a little bit, which is really dope. Um, so this box, for example, um, normally you would have to mantle this box, right? It says to mantle. Um, I mean, you could technically mantle it, uh, but I can actually jump it without having to mantle it. And it's going to it's gonna get me on the edge and it's going to push me up. So you hit a movement like that and it just jumps up. There's two reasons why this is good. One, you skip the jumpy animation, which can be huge, right? It allows you to jump in places and you don't have to hop in. Um, your gun's up pretty much at all times. You're ready for gunfights. You're not really caught off guard. And two, uh, you can actually hear people mantling. Here, let me increase my volume. You can hear people mantling. You hear that? And everyone can hear that. Your character screams out loud as he's jumping over a box. So... Um, this is very big in certain spots used to use and use. So you want to abuse this. Um, so I, I, I like to kind of, you just kind of have to pre-fire the jump. Basically, like if you're going to jump on top of it and you just keep holding forward and he's just going to keep going until he gets on it. So this is a very cool technique. Another example is like this desk. Um, you can kind of just jump on this one. Um, you can see it. This isn't a lot of but you know, uh, you can just jump on this. And another good place to show you guys is actually, this is actually pretty cool okay so um this rocks here so a lot of times i used to do this until i figured this out a lot of times people just mantle this right you're loud you hear that you're slow you can actually um like this can be big in search it can be big if you're trying to flank but you can actually uh just mantle this sideways look at that no sound a gun can stay up like how crazy is that like that is so cool that you can do that in this game and a lot of people don't really realize that but this is actually a really cool cool technique that you can be can be used in a lot of uh, spots on the map and i've just showed you a, a couple but this can, is going to be super beneficial especially you know if you're trying to be good if you're trying to play at a high level on um, very beneficial in some spots very quick last tip to show you guys an example before we uh get to the end of this video here's another great example so if i jump this i'm so loud they're gonna hear me hopping up they know i'm here you can actually get around this so you can jump here you can jump here you can jump here you can jump here and i basically skipped all the animations of the mantling and i have my gun up the whole time all right guys that's going to be it for the movement tip video uh, like i said 100 percent pro players use this, these type of movements uh this game is a little bit limited when it comes to like drop shotting uh snaking some of these movement that were in the past cause they nerfed them for good reasoning because they can be a little cheesy um but i showed you guys some new some new things uh some old things and kind of explain to you when you should use them, how you can use them, how you can break the cameras. And it's really cool that, you know, the game keeps developing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more tip videos, make sure to like, subscribe. I got a couple more videos in mind. We're going to have some great gameplay videos for you guys soon. And I just appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Catch you guys next one. Peace.